think I learned how to do my headscarf. You did. It actually looks very good. All right. Good morning from our desert camp in Wadi Rum, Jordan. We're spending two nights here in the desert for $8 a night. $8, and that includes breakfast. So let's show you what this $8 gets you. We were warned it might get a little cold that night, but they give you two blankets. These things are fuzzy and thick and heavy. I don't know what they're made out of, but they are really, really nice. I was very surprised to see these blankets in this tent. Never expected there to be electricity, but there is. There's a light switch with one bulb, and it comes with a mirror and coat hooks. Can I just point out, the sun sets right here. I really enjoy all of the fabric and designs that they use. The ceiling alone is beautiful. There are several cabins available that come with double beds, but there's also some dormitory style rooms. So if you have a group of friends that want to take this trip, it's perfect. Last night's dinner came out of the ground right here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served in here under this one large tent with everyone else in camp. Although the rooms themselves don't have outlets, there is one communal outlet available. Just beyond the cabins and the large communal tent is the bathroom. The bathroom comes with not one, not two, but three toilets, three showers, two sinks, and I think the most impressive thing of all, marble floors. We're gonna eat lunch. This is 5JD every single day. Pretty much the same thing as yesterday. We have some juice, a little cake, tuna. What is this? Biscuit. Biscuit? Yeah. Oh, biscuit. Like a little biscuit. Ooh, an apple, tomato, cucumber, naan, and some cheese. Bon appetit. That's right. Mm -hmm. good at this. Sounds like there's a change of plans. Uh, so he's gonna take us on the camel ride and the camel ride was just a camel ride through the desert and now we're gonna take the camel ride to the sand dunes and then come back. So we have one location. We're gonna have to climb a dune though. Great. <laughs> Not sure how close we're gonna get, but we're riding right towards like 20 camels. You ready? Absolutely. Is there anything we should know about, like, not to do? Sorry? Is there anything we shouldn't do with the camels? Like, anything we should not do yeah. with the camels? Like, is there anything we need to know? You can't ride it. You can. Yeah. Mm. Uh, small one. one. Small one? Put yeah. your leg. Yeah. And catch it strong there. Okay. Buddy, those 
might stink, I'm sorry. Okay. I can't believe how much higher up you are. We're about 60 seconds in, and I can tell this is going to be a long two hours. Filming with one arm while trying to hold on with the other is very hard. My arm is so tired. Our destination. Great. This is our first time riding a camel and I've only ever ridden a horse once. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. And it feels significantly hotter today than yesterday. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Faster than I thought it was going. Okay, I'm holding on. Oh no. Okay, that scared me. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Woo, <laughs> sore. Alright, thank you. This shade feels so good. This is like hiking Star Dune all over again. Just have to power through it. Okay, it wasn't as bad as it looked. Although we're not there yet. Boy is straight chilling, <laughs> relaxing to the max. Ready? Okay. Like a professional. We're leaving the sand dune, and I think we're making our way back to camp. No one really tells us anything, we just go where we're told. Now that we've done both, I would definitely suggest booking a Jeep tour and a camel tour because they're the exact opposite. If you had to pick just one tour or excursion, I would definitely choose the Jeep just because you see more, it lasts longer, and it's a bit more exciting. But that does not mean that riding a camel is not worth it. How often do you get to do that? I'm surprised it's still not too hot to wear pants. Like, I feel fine. Like, I don't feel hot. I just feel like my skin is cooking. I don't know how there's a difference, but there is. Never would have thought riding a camel is one of the most peaceful things I've ever done. Thank you. What a day. How do people do that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, right now we have to pack up our things because we're not gonna stay in this tent tonight. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I know you didn't. Okay, I don't know what that means. 
I don't know if she has mentioned, but it's someone's birthday tomorrow. I haven't mentioned yet. Cool. I have no idea where we're heading right now because there are no buildings this way. I'm trying to catch up to him. I don't know where we're going. He is a trooper for carrying both of our bags though. Did you know that we were coming up here? Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Where's he going? Oh man, he's just going. Oh. Woo! This is so nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We are sleeping out in the open. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it was funny because when we got here, we both noticed the red brick and we thought, what could possibly be up there? And then they told me, they said, we're going to give you the special room for Amber's birthday. So here we are. Wow. Last night, we slept down there, and we just got upgraded to right there. Talk about an upgrade. I have never slept under the open sky before. Never. I can't believe the first time it's happening is in Jordan. How cool. sun just set and dinner's going to start soon, we have no clue how we're getting into town tomorrow and I don't even think we have enough money to get there. We have to find an ATM and we're going to ask some of the guests here if we can ride with them. Tomorrow's gonna be pretty interesting, so stay tuned. I just wanted everybody to know that Awad, our host, brought all of these candles up here and lit them for my birthday. And Nathan surprised me with some pound cake and took one of these candles, so I had something to blow up. It's a great birthday and it technically hasn't even happened yet. Nathan's camel just crop dusted me. <laughs> <laughs> 